Wait, what did Kyle Jepsen just say? Oh my gosh. They did it. They did it. They did it. Oh my gosh. They did it. Free CMS by HubSpot. Hey. You know what time it is. All right, all kidding aside, it's your boy, George B. Thomas from georgebthomas.com. And today we're talking about the HubSpot CMS. More importantly, the free HubSpot CMS. That's right, not starter, not pro, not enterprise, but free. And we're gonna actually show you from setup to creation of landing page, main page, blog, and form. It's also a little bit of a gotcha that we'll talk about along the way, and we'll talk about limitations. But at the end of the day, if you need a CMS and you don't got budget, or you want to get something kind of launched, like a launch pad, and then actually upgrade, man, HubSpot has changed the game. So let's get in to the good stuff. All right, so as you can see, we are on the content management system, and it says, get started for free. Can this be reality? Well, we're gonna see, we're gonna hit get started for free. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually create a HubSpot account. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do our first name. And instead of this, we're gonna do, uh, because I already have an account, we're gonna do support at George B. Thomas and we'll hit next. Now you're gonna walk through industry. So we're gonna do marketing here, of course, and advertising. And we're gonna say, what is your job role? We'll say owner here, beautiful, yep. We'll hit next. And what's your company's name? We're gonna actually just do Hub Ed Helper is what we're gonna do here. Hub Ed Helper and we'll hit next. How many people work at your company? We'll just say one. And then what is your company's website? We're actually gonna put hubedhelper.com is what we'll put here. And we'll hit, look, look at this though. I don't have a company website. Like if you're truly, truly just starting out and then it says uh, you can connect a website address later. We're gonna do hub at helper.com and we'll hit next here. Check your email. Okay, let me go ahead and go do that real quick. So check this out. Once we're in our email, then we can literally hit confirm email address and it's gonna say create a password. I'm gonna accept the cookies. It's gonna say create a password. We're gonna hit next. Uh, where would you like your data to be hosted? Uh, US. So we'll hit create account and then preparing the account. Let's personalize your experience. I've never used, no, I, I know my way around HubSpot pretty well. Now here's the thing, you're gonna get this. If you've used HubSpot before, I mean, you can come down here and you can be like, turn off this user guide. That's what I'm gonna do. Because the whole point is, yep, let's go, thanks. The whole point is free CMS. And so to see what this looks like, we're gonna go marketing, we're gonna go website and we're gonna go website pages. And notice you can literally hit create website page. And I'm just gonna be like home page, and we'll hit create page. Now, once we do that, I uh, notice this growth and then view themes in marketplace. If you're curious what marketplace theme I love, what one I use, uh, you should head over to georgebthomas.com and just hit the contact us page and be like, hey, let's talk about HubSpot themes. But in this case, we're just gonna go ahead and set this as the active theme, which then we can go ahead and say, you know what, I just wanna put together a quick homepage and we're gonna select that template and we're gonna go ahead and be able to start filling in the information with our company. Now, remember it's free, remove HubSpot logo from your website pages, unlock premium features with the starter. Again, starter isn't expensive, so there is going to be like, you could start to build your website, get it to where you want to launch it, get your domain name attached, and then maybe upgrade to starter once you're ready to launch and get rid of the logo. But watch this. We're going to hit save. We're going to hit exit. We're going to go landing pages. We're going to go ahead and create landing pages. And we'll say best landing page ever. It probably won't be because this is just a tutorial, but notice this. Now we've got all these uh, little templates here. And then uh, look, we can, we can just kind of do whatever we want here. We can do two, let's go back. And we're gonna say, uh, you know, let's search for growth, growth. Mm. So that's interesting right there because you would think that you would be able to actually get to the actual theme that you did with your website page. So yeah, kind of interesting that there's a little bit of a disconnect between what you think you could do with landing pages and website pages with historically how we use pro and enterprise. But by the way, this is like future editing George speaking to you right now, because after I got to that point, I'm like, let me dive back in. Let me see if there's a way that you could create it as a website page, then 
maybe transition it to a landing page, but look how that actually kind of ended up. So let's actually jump back into marketing website, website pages, and let's see if we create a website page here and we just call it landing page test and we actually create the page. Now, if this is the case, can we select growth? Okay, beautiful. We're gonna say blank template here and we're gonna just pretend that this is a landing page, meaning we're gonna go rich text. We're gonna drag that in. We're gonna look for form. So we'll go ahead and drag that in. We'll set that aside. And so literally this could be, I know it's not the best, but we'll just say this is you know, our landing page and we can select a form and stuff like that. If we do that, if we hit save here and we go back and exit out, if we go to our landing page here, can we do more? No, we can't push it to a landing page. So that's interesting. So one of the limitations is you do only have access to the landing page templates and you can't really, it doesn't seem like without upgrading, you can't really connect the website theme that you're downloading to the landing pages that you might be building. So just something to think about, but let's continue on with the rest of the tutorial. In this case, we're going to go ahead and select template. Boom. We have a landing page. Uh, we can hit save. Now in other videos, we go through settings, optimization, publish options, all that good stuff. But literally this is the exciting thing of, we now have a website page. We now have a landing page for free and we can literally go blog and we could say, set up your blog. Now this is going to run you through some things. So like we'll do hub ad helper and, uh, you know, pick all these things that we want. Maybe it's blog. I don't know, whatever you want to do. It's, it's totally yours. We can give it a meta description and then create your blog. And so now it's going to say, select a template. We'll close that out, uh, create a new post and yep. How about helper English, create post and check this out. Now you can literally start just like my post and you can save it. And again, settings optimize. We'll talk about all that stuff later, uh, but we're going to go ahead and hit exit. So now we literally have a website. We have a landing page. We have a blog. Now, do you have some limitations? Yeah, because uh, if you go into the main navigation, usually this is lead capture, right? And it's forms and call to actions. So you don't have call to actions inside of the free version, but still you have forms and you can literally create a new form and you can say embedded form and hit next. And now you can easily say blank template and start. And now you can literally skip this tour and be like, yeah, I want it to be my contact us form. So it's going to be first name. It's going to be last name. And uh, I want to give them a message that I can actually, you know, they can fill in boom and we can literally uh, name it and we can update it and we can publish it and we can put it on the page that we need it to be. So all of that is super amazing, free website, CMS, main pages, landing pages, blog articles, forms for free. And then when you're ready or you can afford it, you can get rid of the HubSpot branding and you can upgrade to starter and all sorts of fun stuff like that. And lickety split, that's it. Free HubSpot CMS. And let me just say, sure, there are limitations. Sure. There's a few gotchas, but free people and you can start to set up the things that might change your business this is a great gateway if you want to get that launch pad website built it's a great gateway if you have very little budget it's a great starter for the cms maybe marketing starter sales starter service starter and at the end of the day one thing that we didn't even talk about in this video is you're getting all the free crm tools that you'll be able to run your business on and integrations that integrate with it in different themes it's a great starting point. Hey, if you have questions about the free CMS or just HubSpot CMS in general, make sure you head over to georgebthomas.com. Make sure you're also focused on being a happy, helpful, humble human. And of course, we'll see you real soon in the next video.